see. Let's take a look at it right now because uh, what we're talking about here is indeed a return steel cage match. And uh, there you see the Tennessee stud and uh, the bullets. And, uh, well, things are happening. Bear in mind now that uh, Doug Furness is outside. Obviously, the purpose of a steel cage is to keep away from outside interference. Well, that's right. But you see uh, Buddy Landell's outside, too. He's passed the cane through the cage to this headhunter here. And I got my hands on it. And, oh, yes, I love that because I felt that thing on my back last week. I know what that feels like. So there was a headhunter that went down that time. And Landell's out there on the outside of the cage. He may be screaming now and real sorry. He passed that cane through. But nonetheless, that was the end of the match. Now, here you can see the continental rushing official opening the cage. You can see Landell shove him out of the way here. And he makes his way in the cage. Not only does Landell come in, there comes Chris Von Coates. Neither one of these men scheduled in this match at all. And uh, because they got away with something similar to this on the last cage, I guess they intend to do it this time. Now, you can see the official here is trying to keep Kevin Sullivan from getting me. He wanted to close the door back, I assume, and lock it. And Sullivan makes a big mistake here, which I'm sure he was, I heard he's been fined $10,000 for this. He should have been kicked completely out of wrestling, as far as I'm concerned. This is a man who is obviously not a wrestler. He's an official for Continental Wrestling. You can see him being thrown in the cage here. At that point, I think he probably received the laceration from that right there. Uh, he ended up, like I say, he had 17 stitches because of this. Uh, Sullivan here is just tearing his clothes off and beating and pounding. But really, in my estimation, an almost helpless man. This man probably weighs 170 pounds, certainly doesn't weigh uh, 200 or 250 pounds. He's not a wrestler. He was not there to be involved in this event. He was there simply to open the door when the match was open. Now, I think Landell's gone back. He's closed the cage and relocked it back. And you'll see several people. There's one up to the left there trying to climb the cage. And they're hammering his fingers and doing whatever they can to keep anybody from being able to get inside the cage and help us out. Uh, I think they've got Robert out of the cage and onto the floor. He's trying his best to get in. Uh, and there's, at this point, I think six guys in the ring, and there's, my, there's a Tennessee stud, uh, the bullet, and Jimmy Golden. Now look at that man burner. That's it. Could you see that? I don't know if you can pick it up. Yeah. He, he got in the cage up on a, in a unique way. He tore the door off the cage, literally. The man is up top. And you can see here, he nailed the three head hunters. He's pulling out the T-shirt. And this boy is about to, well, he's about to take, play exorcist to Kevin Sullivan. Colt tries to stop him. He bears Colt. And you can see Cullen, Sullivan takes a couple of cheap shots here. And he blacked this boy's eye and busted his eye underneath his eye. But I think it, you saw it did not him down, it just made him mad.